Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our Divi header and footer for Divi's Painter Layout Pack. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. All right, so when we get here, what we need to do now is to download the layout. So I'm gonna click here, add my email address, and then I'm gonna click on download. Okay, so this is uh, the download button. I'm gonna click on that, and this is gonna download my header and footer template. Next, I'm gonna head over here and uh, navigate to the folder where I downloaded it. And here it is in my downloads folder. All I have to do now is to double click on it. And this is the file we're going to be adding in a few moments. Next, it's time now to go onto our website. So I'm going to come over here. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and uh, clicked on Divi. And what I need to do here is to make sure that the theme builder is selected. Okay, so the next step now is to install our template. So I'm going to click here on portability. Make sure you click on import. And then that file that I unzipped, if you remember, the, here it is. I'm just going to drag it over here. Now make sure override and import uh, to override existing assignments is uh, checked. And then click on import DV theme builder templates. Okay, so as you can see, our header and footer has been installed, but I haven't gone ahead and saved. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, take a look at our website and see what header and footer we have at the moment. So I'm going to click here. And as you can see here, this is just the uh, plain header that comes with Divi. And if I scroll all the way down here, there's no footer. So now to apply the header and footer, you need to make sure you hit save changes. Okay, so now that we've done this, if I come over here and refresh, notice what happens. Now we have this header. And if I scroll all the way down, we have this beautiful footer, which we can go in and customize. Now let's dive into our builder and see how we can customize this and make it look like your own design and also to match your branding. Okay, so back over here, what we need to do is to start with the header. So I'm going to click here on this pencil icon. So first things first, we need to take a look here at um, the section settings. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and I'm going to click here on background because this is where the color is. So we can start off by changing our color here. And if we go on our gradient, you can see again, this is where we have our colors. So let's change this yellow to this orange. So right away, you can see I've gone ahead and changed that color. So let's say you want to change this white part here. You can also, you know, play around with the colors here and then choose whatever color you want. But ideally, what works is if you choose colors that match your branding, this will be fantastic. All right, so let's keep it white. So if you're happy with that, you can save. But you know what? I'm not going to save this, so I'm going to close out of here. So that is how you change this yellow part. Let's move on to the next item here, and this is this uh, call to action button. So I'm going to click here on this gear, gear icon. So we can see here that uh, this is a button. So first of all, you can change the button text here. And as you type, you can see here it's updating in real time. But of course, we're not going to do that. Next, if you come over here to design, click on button, and then you start working on uh, the background color. Just by clicking here, we can change the background like that. And also you can change the text color and you can see it's updating as I'm making my changes here. But as I mentioned, this will be ideal if you have your colors that match your branding. Okay, so let's go ahead now and close out of here. Now let's move on to the social media icons. So over here, let's say, for example, there are some you don't use, like for example, Dribble is not that popular. So what you can do is you just delete it and you can see here it is gone. So what you can also do is if you wanted to add another one, you can then just go into, you can duplicate it like what I've just done, go into the settings and then you can just go in and select whichever one you want to add. So let's go with YouTube. So as you can see, it comes in with a background. So I can just come over here to the background and just remove that by clicking here on transparency just to make these consistent. Okay. So once you're happy with that, in fact, you know what, before we save, let me show you how you can add the links to them. So what you need to do is to click here on the gear icon, click on link, and this is where you want to add your link to Facebook. Okay. So you need to do 
these links on uh, each and every one of these. So same applies here on Twitter. You should click here on link. You add your Twitter URL until you add all of them. Once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and save. Now, let's say you want to uh, change the colors. You can come over here to design, click on icon, and this is where you can change your color. So you can see as I go in and update this, this is changing the colors. Okay, but we're just, we're just gonna leave it as black. All right, so if you're happy with that, you can just save that. And now let's move on to the menu. So the menu here is very important because you need to make sure you've created it already. That That's how it shows over here, okay? So when you select the menu, it will show up here and then this is what updates. And then over here on design, you can go to your menu text and then you can uh, update the text as well. So here you can change your uh, font to say Poppins. This is my favorite one. So you can see in real time it is updated and you can also change the colors. So if you wanted to change the colors here, you can always update that like that. But you know what? We're going to leave everything as I mean like that. So this is how you customize the header to match your own design. Okay, so let's close out of here and let me show you what you can also do to the footer. So I'm going to click here on this gear on the pencil icon and this is going to take us to the builder just like how we did before with the header. So let's start here with exhibition. So first of all, you can go in and actually change this text which says exhibitions to whatever text you want. And you notice here that when I click in here, it's saying heading three, which means if you come over here to your heading text and you target heading three, you can actually go in and change the color just like that. Okay, so you can see as I'm cycling through these colors, it is updating. Okay, so that's how you change that. So I'm going to close here. Let's move on to the next text here. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. And this is again text uh, text module. So you can again change this color here. And this is a heading three. This is a normal paragraph. And this is heading six. So when you come over here to the design and go to your heading text. So if you target heading three, you can see that this is uh, really targeting here. So if you forget if this is a heading three or heading whatever, you can always click here on this paintbrush tool or paintbrush icon, and this will take you directly to that particular item you want to make some uh, changes to. So over here now, if I change my color, you can see right away the color has changed. Okay, so that is how you target what you need to uh, make changes to here. Okay, so over here, this is a button. So let me click here and uh, show you how to make changes to this. So first of all, you can change the button text here where it says all shows. You can just update this to uh, whatever text you want. So I've just added an exclamation mark and you can see there it has uh, already updated. Next, you can come over here to design and you can do your alignments. If you need to align it to the left, you can see that it's aligning. And when you go into the button here, you can also change the button color. So you can see it is very easy to change. And as I'm moving my um, through my color palette here, the color is updating. OK, so that is how you uh, make changes to that button. And then finally, what's important here as well is to make sure you link it. So over here is where you can click add your button URL. You can also change to open a new tab or in the same window. And pretty much that's how you update this button here. Next, let's take a look at our next module here. And this module is our blurb. So to make changes to this, you can change the title here. And again, I'm just going to add an exclamation mark so you can see how easy it is to make changes to this. Next, you can also change here this information. And this is just in your text area. This is the DV Gallery, San Francisco. And this is the text right here. OK, so let's go on to image and icon. And this is where the image is. So if you want to make changes to this image, you can just click over here and then find the image you want to add. So let's go with this image here. And so you can see in real time how it updates. And as you can see, this has been updated. So the idea of this template is to just go in and change all this content here to match your own content. OK, so I'm just going to close out of here. And again, the button here it can be updated the same as how I've shown you here. And you can also do the same over here. OK, so moving on. Over here on the subscribe, let's go into this because this is very important. You also need to know how to uh, set it up so it can send the emails correctly. So here where it says subscribe, you know, you can change this to whatever call, that, call to action you want. It can be um, 
click here, it could be download now, whatever it is. And on the button as well, you can change this uh, to whatever you want. And then over here, this is where you connect this with your email service provider. So if you click on email account, you can see here there's quite a few, including Fluent CRM. This has been just released. So get response, HubSpot, and so on. So that is fantastic. So once you link it up, uh, whenever someone subscribes here or leaves their email address, they will be added to your email service provider. Okay, and also this button here can be updated by clicking on this uh, paintbrush icon and then you can make the changes to the button right here. All right, so moving on, let's take a look here at um, this um, blurb. And again, we have uh, an icon here, which is added as an image. So you can always go in and customize it here. The text can also be customized by clicking here on the print brush tool. And you can also change the colors and um, the font weight and also the font itself. Okay. And then we also have the copyright text here. And again, you can also change it by coming over here to design. And then you can change it here in the text and you can also change the text colors. Finally, we have all these text modules here. And again, you can change this quickly by coming over here and adding your own email address. And once you're happy with that, you can always come over here to design and you can customize the text itself by changing your font like that. And if you want to play around with the sizes, you can always make adjustments here. Okay, so once you're done with that, all you need to do is to click on these three little arrows on the bottom here, click on save and your template will be saved. So once saved, this will update across your whole website and also make sure you click here on uh, save all changes. And then once you do that, this is going to update the header and footer of your website. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.